First at four, a veteran Detroit police officer remains in critical condition this afternoon. He suffered severe head injuries in a shooting incident last night on Detroit's west side. Local force Rod Maloney is live in Dearborn with the latest on the officer's uh, prospects for recovery here. Uh, Rod? Yes, you know, Karen, when you hear the mayor and the police chief asking for everyone's prayers, you get the idea that it's very serious. But this officer had a surgery about 4 a.m. He also had another one around 10 a.m. And then shortly thereafter, there was a press conference where the doctor said that this officer's condition is deteriorating. And so they are deeply concerned for his safety. Let's go now and take a look at precisely what happened and take a look at what was going on overnight. It's just a sobering reminder of the dangers that our officers face each and every day. Shortly before 11 p.m. last night, a domestic violence call sends two officers, a veteran and a rookie, to the Oakman Apartments on Joy Road. There's a high security there, a locked gate leading to the front door without a window. Officers were told someone would prop the door open, but it didn't happen. After getting past the locked gate, the uniformed officers started banging on the door. All of a sudden, the door opened, and a man with a silver-plated 380 handgun emerged, and a shootout began. His arm was extended. Uh, and the officers responded. The officer that was shot fired several rounds from his department issued weapon, and, and simultaneously both the officer and the suspect fell to the ground. The rookie officer pulled his partner to safety, and EMS took the officer to Oakwood Beaumont Hospital. Today, the bullet holes were visible outside the door. A very somber mayor, Mike Duggan, called both officers heroes. Once again, uh, we're reminded that every citizen of the city of Detroit owes an enormous debt of gratitude uh, to the 2,500 men and women uh, of the Detroit uh, Police Department. The shooter, 46-year-old James Edward Ray, known as Jay to his friends and neighbors like Tony here. He, he's a solid person. Uh, he work every day. Stay to himself, don't bother nobody. That's what I know about him. Uh -huh. D did you ever notice him talk about the police or be upset about the police? No, he ain't got no problem with no police because he, uh, he don't do them to go to work every day. Well, one of the things the Detroit police are telling us right now is that the, uh, the man was going to the door, the shooter, was going to the door chambering rounds in his weapon that he left his room with that gun and was putting guns in it and came right out of the door with his arm extended to apparently shoot anybody who was there. And the question is whether he even knew there were police officers there, but at this point, it's academic. He is dead, one officer in critical condition here with a shot gunshot in the forehead here at Beaumont Hospital. Reporting live in Dearborn, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Okay, Rod, we'll check in with you a little bit later in our 5 o'clock newscast. Thank you.